What's going on everybody? Uh, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'll be working on my Scion TC. It's a 2006 uh, Scion TC uh, five-speed manual and uh, the issue that I'll be working on today is changing out this um, header slash catalytic converter. Uh, I've already sprayed down the bolts with some BB blaster. I'll take the sensor off, go underneath the car and take the uh, bracket and the, the two uh, bolts for the flange off as well and then come back up here and finish taking everything else off and it should come right up this is the new one that I got from Rock Auto thanks to my older brother for ordering this for me uh, through his uh, business account so this is a Walker brand and it's the one that my brother uses all the time really good brand he says uh comes with this steel gasket which is much better than than those um uh like silver uh soft um organic looking gaskets i'm not sure what they are comes with the studs with the hardware comes with everything you need to get it done these are the uh bolts for the heat shields there's all these little um uh, brackets here for these uh, threads for the for the heat shield right so this should be an OEM fit and also comes with a new donut gasket as well, which I've already put on here. Um, so this looks like a really good quality kit. So let's go ahead and uh, start taking everything off. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. All right, so going under the car, I'm gonna show you what you're looking for. I already took this uh, splash shield off. So this is the exhaust. And what you're looking for is this bolt here and the other one with the spring on the other side right there. It's kind of hard to see. Then there's a bracket uh, right here. And the other one, let me we'll go across the member here. You can see it through that hole. That's this guy right here. You gotta take both of these off. So first thing I wanna loosen up these guys right here. This one, that one. And uh, then we take these bolts off on the bracket that holds it. And then we move up to the top. Quick progress update. Um, it's kind of hard to show you. So on the manifold, there are these two brackets, one on each side. One goes here and one goes to the block. Same thing with this one. One goes here like that and one goes to the block. Well, both of these were bolted on here, but they weren't secure to the block. And this was just like vibrating up against the block. And uh, well, to give you a little backstory, when I drove the car, I heard a little like metal on metal vibration, like rattling. And I'm assuming that's what this is from because you can see like where it's like been beaten here, maybe. I don't know. But uh, anyways, that was a problem. So it's supposed to go to the stud down there and then in the hole right there and this it's like that on both sides that wasn't done so anyways everything on the bottom is off completely nothing's holding it the only thing holding it out is is the one two three four five uh, nuts right here that are on these studs hopefully the studs don't come out but if they do it's okay I can fix that right now I'm gonna take this oxygen sensor off and it's a 21 millimeter um, if you don't already have a tool like this I recommend highly recommend getting one this is a lifesaver especially when you're in, in, in tight spots really good to have anyways I'm gonna continue on taking everything out from the top
overall they all came out pretty good they weren't seized or anything so that's that's a plus and we just pull it out nice and easy I don't know if you can see that but that catalytic converter is intact it's not broken or anything so I am not sure what to think all right so I flipped this over and I had a bunch of sand come out see that? all that's coming out of there so is it was definitely bad because it's not supposed to do that so and this is the original Toyota as you can see right here original Toyota so I'm gonna take this heat shield off and transfer it to the new one real quick and um, install the new catalytic converter got all this installed I'm gonna go under the car now install the rest of the exhaust exa install these uh, brackets on each side and then the last thing I'll do is the oxygen sensor and the um, the heat shield all right so I use this uh, wire wheel on my bench grinder and I polished this it's already degreased Not sure what this is. so I'm gonna hit it with some black um, Rust-Oleum high heat manifold uh, paint it says resists up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit which should be fine That's it, just do one coat, one heavy coat, it should be plenty. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead, go under the car and bolt up uh, the exhaust down there. All right guys, so see the bracket right here? New hardware, new stud on this side, tighten down. Before, it was on the, on the old setup, it was tightened down just here, not here which is what I was hearing all the vibration from. Same thing on this side, it's kind of hard to see because of a lip right here, you can't see the nut, but there's a bolt that I put in here. I couldn't get a stud in there, it was too difficult, no room, so I found a bolt in my hardware box and I put a, um, the new nut on here as well. Everything is torqued down and tightened. The two bolts are down there, they're holding up the exhaust, you can see the spring. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, they're tightened down on both sides. There, the only thing left to do now is to put the O2 sensor in here, which I got hung up here. Put the O2 sensor in here and then do the heat shield. The heat shield came out looking really, really good. Let me show you. Cover it up so I get no dust on it, but it's drying up. It's gonna have a matte look to it. All right, so she's all buttoned up. Everything's done. Got the heat shield on. The only thing I couldn't do was bolt on here 
and here because uh, this is an aftermarket um, catalytic converter and these holes don't line up at all like I tried pushing up on it you can see I kind of scuffed up the paint right here I tried pushing up on it to get them lined up and I couldn't couldn't get it but it hopefully doesn't vibrate um, if it vibrates I'll just remove it completely or just drill the holes out further so they line up and bolt it in that way um, but anyways everything is done um, I'm gonna test it probably tomorrow today is freaking cold I'm tired I want to go back inside the house have a warm cup of coffee and relax but other than that that's pretty much how you do the um, catalytic converter on a 2AZ FE engine uh, they could be found in the RAV4 and the Camrys uh, same process pretty much same exact engine so yeah but a little bit about the setup I do have a uh, uh, um, this was supposed to be called their intake and intake was supposed to go down into the defender well but uh, I was afraid of getting water in there it rains a lot in Florida and then we had a bunch of water everywhere so I don't want this thing sucking up water so I left the intake up here it works fine I didn't have a check engine light for a uh, mass airflow sensor or anything like that car drives perfectly fine I did relocate this um, purge valve down there because it was supposed to be up here with the stock system so I kind of made a bracket and bolted it to the uh, side right there as you can see um, I had to extend some of the hoses uh, vacuum lines they need to be changed anyways because they were cracking so I put all new vacuum lines in here uh, this is a breather that goes from here originally supposed to go here I got this capped off I just got a my um, dot three brake fluid bottle hole on top of the lid drilled some holes for it breeds that's it uh, catch can setup one goes to the PCV valve the other the other port goes to the intake manifold creates vacuum sucks it up there's a little filter in here that filters everything out um, so once in the one I do an oil change I open this up bunch of oil in here and I dump it into the drain pan put it back up good to go this uh, should prolong the life of the engine because without this catch can it all goes into the intake goes on top of your um, uh, what's it called intake valves get them burned up and then you lose compression because your intake valves don't close all the way because of the carbon buildup from the oil so uh, it's a preventative maintenance thing but yeah that's about it and I get a phone call coming through right now I oh, sorry about that. I got interrupted by a scam call but anyways that's that's the basic setup the exhaust is completely bone stock i'm not doing anything to the exhaust the only reason i got an in, uh, intake aftermarket intake is because the stock box was messed up and it was missing all the clips and it was like it was pretty much trashed um not sure what the previous owner did with it it wasn't closed shut so like i didn't like it um, I tried to find the OEM one and they wanted an arm and leg for it. So uh, this was a much cheaper route. I think I paid like 60 bucks on on eBay for this system and it works great. Um, I just painted everything white because the car itself is white. So yeah, but that's that's the basic setup here. This is a daily driver, so I'm trying to keep it reliable. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. I've actually got a, another video coming out soon. Also concerning this car, I've did a lot of maintenance on it and I've um, filmed most of it. So keep an eye out for the next video. Peace.